Welcome to the Drupal module tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to add Sagenda's calendar to your Drupal website. If you don't use Drupal, we also have lots of other integration possibilities, such as WordPress plugin, Joomla, HTML integration, using Sagenda as your main website, and many more. See the links under this video or check Sagenda.com in the Integration menu or our other videos. First, you need to create an account on Sagenda.net and define your service and events. Feel free to watch our other videos if you need help. How to download Sagenda's Drupal module Go directly to our GitHub account in order to download the latest Drupal module. How to install Sagenda's Drupal module. From your Drupal admin control panel, just go to manage slash extend and click plus install new module. You have two options to upload the module. Option number one, copy and paste the .tar.gz file URL. Option number two, Download the file to your computer and upload on your website. You need to use only one of those options, not both. Now, wait a few seconds while the Sagenda module is uploaded. Then, select the checkbox in front of Sagenda Booking Calendar and click Install. Now, the module is activated. How to configure Sagenda's Drupal module? To add the module to your website, follow the next steps. Go to Manage Structure Block Layout. Click Place Block anywhere you want, probably in Content. Search for Sagenda Booking Calendar Block and click Place Block. You can display the calendar anywhere you want. In this example, we will just display it on one page located in backslash node backslash one. So we will allow it only on this page. Now the calendar is displayed on your page, but it isn't linked to your Sagenda account yet. We have to configure it. To do so, go to Manage Configuration Sagenda Settings. First, you need to enter your authentication code so the plugin can authenticate your Sagenda account. You will find this token in your Sagenda account under Account Settings and also on the dashboard. Open your Sagenda account and copy this token, then paste it to your extension configuration. Don't retype the authorization code from this video or any other example since it will not display your data, which is as personal as your email address. Then, you can choose on what day your calendar week should start. In most cases, it's Monday or Sunday. Let's change it to Sunday. After changing the value in the drop-down list, save your setting. Then, on the next reload, your front-end calendar will start each week with Sunday instead of Monday. You can then also change the date and time format. See a few examples. On the left, the date format, and on the right, the result in the calendar view. If you change your website language, the text date in letters will follow the language. We will come back later on more language options. For now, if I change the website language to French, October is replaced by Octobre. Now, let's try to change the date format. On the Hint pop-up, you already have some format example. Let's try one. I will change it to YYMMDD. 
What's the result? Pretty ugly, right? Without dot, backslash, nor dash, the date is difficult to read. Let's add dots in between. The result is much better, right? Let's do the same for the time format. H in uppercase means hours counted from 00.00 to 24.00, while H in lowercase means hours from 12 a.m. to 11 p.m. A add a.m. or p.m. In order to have the American time format, e.g. 11 p.m., you should enter hh.mma. I will not explain all the possible functions here as we can make a one-hour video on this topic and mainly because other options aren't so commonly used. But you should know that you can choose the given link and manage format of month, quarter, day of the month, day of the year, day of week, week of the year, year, a.m., p.m., hours, minutes, seconds. Make sure to save your configuration. If you don't see changes on your calendar after saving some modifications, please clear Drupal's caching system. Please go to Manage, Configuration, Development, Performance, and click Clear All Caches. How to customize your account. From your Sagenda account, please click on the Module Center and make sure the Front End Customization module is enabled. You can click the little wheel icon to access the module settings. You will also find everything under the Settings submenu. If you change the button's color and font, those changes will apply to your calendar. Choose the desired values and don't forget to save. You can add a logo at the top of the calendar by uploading it here. You can also choose your favorite default bookable item. This just means it will be the default value in the list when the calendar is displayed and the visitor will be able then to select another value from the list. Multibooking allows visitors to book several events at once, but also several participants at once. If you don't want that option, please just uncheck Enable Multi Booking and save. Then, the multi-booking option will be disabled. How to change Sagenda's Drupal language. Sagenda uses your Drupal's default language. Go to Manage Extend. Install the Language and the Interface Translation modules. In the Language module, Open the detail of the description and click on Configure. Click Add Language. Select the language you want and click Add Language. If needed, you may change the default language. That's all, folks! Don't forget to watch our other videos on how to set up your account. We have also plenty of other integration options. As a link, as HTML, as other CMS plugins, and so on. Feel free to contact us in case you need anything. Thanks for watching, and stay more productive with Sagenda.